Hi everyone, this is Vision 5 of 7, where I'll be reading the text from the Book of Esdras. So there are seven visions total, and we're on the fifth one, which is a dream, um, commonly called Ezra's Eagle. We'll be diving right in. So I slept that night, and another, like as he commanded me. Then saw I a dream, and behold, there came up from the sea an eagle, which had twelve feathered wings and three heads. And I saw, and behold, she spread her wings over all the earth, and all the winds of the air blew on her, and were gathered together. And I beheld out of the feathers there grew other contrary feathers, and there became little feathers and small. And her heads were at rest, the head in the midst was greater than the other, yet rested it with the residue. Moreover, I beheld, and lo, the eagle flew with her feathers, and reigned upon the earth, and over them that dwelt therein. And I saw that all things under heaven were subject unto her, and no man spake against her, no, not one creature upon the earth. And behold, and lo, the eagle rose upon her talons, and spake to her feathers, saying, Watch not all at once, sleep every one in his own place, and watch by course, and let the heads be preserved for the last. And I beheld, and lo, the voice went not out of her heads, but from the midst of her body. And I numbered her contrary feathers, and behold, there were eight of them. And I looked, and behold, on the right side there arose one feather, and reigned over all the earth. And so it was that when it rained, the end of it came, and the place thereof appeared no more. So the next following stood up, and reigned, and had a great time. And it happened that when it rained, and the end of it came also, like as the first, so that it appeared no more. Then came there a voice unto it, and said, Hear thou that thou hast borne rule over the earth so long. This I say unto thee, Before thou beginnest to appear no more, there shalt none after thee attain unto thy time, neither unto the half thereof. Then arose the third, and reigned as the others before, and appeared no more also. And went, so went it with all the residue, one after another, as that every one reigned, and then appeared no more. Then I beheld, and lo, in process of time, the feathers that follow stood up on the right side, that they might rule also, and some of them ruled, but within a while they appeared no more, for some of them were set up, but ruled not. After this I looked and beheld the twelve feathers appeared no more, nor the two little feathers, and there was no more upon the eagle's body but three heads that rested in six little wings. Then saw I also that two little feathers divided themselves from the sixth, and remained under the head that was upon the right side, for the four continued in their place, and I beheld, and lo, the feathers that were under the wing thought to set up themselves and to have the rule. And I beheld, and lo, there was one set up, but shortly it appeared no more, and the second was sooner away than the first. And I beheld, and lo, the two that remained thought also in themselves to reign. And when they so thought, behold, there awaked one of the heads that were at rest, namely, it was the one that was in the midst, for that was greater than the two other heads. And then I saw that the two other heads were joined with it, and behold, the head was turned with them that were with it, and did eat up the two feathers under the wing that would have reigned. But this head put the whole, fe whole earth in fear and bare rule in it, over all that dwelt upon the earth with much oppression. And it had the governance of the world more than all the wings that had been. And after this I beheld, and lo, the head that was in the midst suddenly appeared no more, like as the wings. But there remained the two heads, which also in like sort ruled upon the earth and over those that dwelt therein. And I beheld, and lo, the head on the right side devoured it that was upon the left side. Then I heard a voice, which said unto me, Look before thee, and consider the thing that thou seest. And I beheld, and lo, as it were, a roaring lion chased out of the wood, and I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle, and said, Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee, Art thou not it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them? And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past, and had power over the world with great fearfulness, and over the whole compass of the earth with which much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit, for the earth hast thou not judged with truth. For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, thou hast loved liars, and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, and hath cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore, 
Is thy wrongful dealing come up unto the highest, and thy pride unto the mighty? The highest also hath looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled, and therefore appeared no more, thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, for thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body, that all the earth may be refreshed, and may return, being delivered from thy violence, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. And it came to pass, whilst the lion spake these words unto the eagle I saw, and beheld the head that remained, and the four wings appeared no more, and the two went unto it, and set themselves up to reign, and their kingdom was small, and fill of uproar. And I saw and beheld they appeared no more, and the whole body of the eagle was burnt, so that the earth was in great fear. Then I awaked out of the trouble and trance of my mind, and from great fear, and said unto my spirit, Lo, this hast thou done unto me, in that thou searchest out the ways of the highest. Lo, yet am I weary in my mind, and very weak in my spirit, and little strength is there in me, for the great fear wherewith I was afflicted this night. Therefore will I now beseech the highest, and he will comfort me unto the end. And I said, Lord, that bearest rule, if I have found grace before thy sight, and if I am justified with thee before many others, and if my prayer indeed be come up before thy face, comfort me then, and show me thy servant the interpretation and plain difference of the fearful vision, that thou mayest perfectly comfort my soul, for thou hast judged me worthy to show me the last times. And he said unto me, This is the interpretation of the vision. The eagle, whom thou sawest come up from the sea, is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of thy brother Daniel. But it was not expounded unto him, neither therefore now I declare it unto thee. Behold, the days will come, that there shall rise up a kingdom upon the earth, and it shall be feared above all the kingdoms that were before it. In the same shall twelve kings reign, one after another. Where of the second shall begin to reign, and shall have more time than any of the twelve. And this do the twelve wings signify which thou sawest. As for the voice which thou heardest speak, and that thou sawest not to go out from the heads, but out from the midst of the body thereof, this is the interpretation. That after the time of the kingdom that there shall arise great strivings, and it shall stand in peril of failing. Nevertheless it shall not fall, but shall be restored again to his beginning. And whereas thou sawest the eight small under feathers sticking to her wings, this is the interpretation. That in him there shall arise eight kings, whose time shall be but small, and their years swift, and two of them shall perish, the middle time approaching. Four shall be kept until their end to approach, but two shall be kept unto the end. And whereas thou sawest three heads resting, this is the interpretation. In his last days shall the Most High raise up three kingdoms, and renew many things therein, and they shall have the dominion of the earth, and of those that dwell therein with much oppression above all those that were before them therefore are they called the heads of the eagle for these are they that shall accomplish his wickedness and shall finish his last end and whereas thou sawest that the great head appeared no more it signifieth that one of them shall die upon his bed and yet with pain for the two that remain shall be slain with a sword for the sword of the one shall devour the other but at the last shall he fall through the sword himself and whereas thou sawest two feathers under the wings passing over the head that is on the right side, it signifieth that these are they whom the highest hath kept unto their end. This is the small kingdom and full of trouble as thou sawest. And the lion which thou sawest rising up out of the wood and roaring and speaking unto the eagle and rebuking her for her unrighteousness with all the words which thou hast heard, this is the anointed which the highest hath kept for them, and for their wickedness unto the end, he shall reprove them, and, sh he, and shall abrade them with their cruelty. For he shall set them before him alive in judgment, and shall rebuke them and correct them. For the rest of my people shall deliver with mercy those that have been pressed upon my borders, and he shall make them joyful until the coming of the day of judgment, whereof I have spoken unto thee from the beginning. This is the dream that thou sawest, and these are the interpretations. Thou only hast been meet to know this secret of the highest. Therefore write all these things that thou hast seen in a book, and hide them, and teach them to the wise of thy people, whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. But wait thou here th thyself yet seven days more, that it may be showed thee. 
whatsoever it pleaseth the highest to declare unto thee. And with that he went his way.